What's going on guys? Welcome to my tutorial in Adobe After Effects CS6. In this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to clean up your rotoscoping that you do in After Effects. My idea was to throw some eggs on my laptop and obviously I don't want to break my laptop so I wasn't going to do that. The first thing I'm going to do is go to File Import and I'm going to select two files. Let me take the eggs video and bring it on my timeline. What I decided to do was take the video and just move it along a little bit and just grab this portion. So I'm going to double click this video and let's select the roto brush and I'm going to just take the green brush. I'm going to press Alt to minus out what I don't want. This is only covering the area where I'm going to use the roto brush. I'm going to move along here to the portion of video that I need, and just like that. I'm going to take this, extend it, and that's going to cover the area. Now on the right hand side here it says roto brush propagating. After Effects is reading the work area that I want to use. You're going to have to move along slowly through the footage every few frames or so because you want to see that it's cleaned up. And if you notice right here, there's some stuff that I don't need. After Effects has a little bit of a hard time differentiating what I want and don't want, so I'm just going to help it out and continue to use the brush. You can enhance the look of what you're rotoscoping and also make it look a little bit cleaner. Let me place the laptop underneath the video. And we can already tell that this looks a little bit choppy. So basically that's what I had in my video. And I'm going to show you guys an example in a minute of what it actually looks like. Now there's a few options here where we went over this before. But you know just to show you again. You select this to toggle the alpha. This just shows you the mask itself. Again you can see a different portion of the mask using this alpha overlay. But let's just select the alpha boundary. And the feathering really does help this. So that's pretty smooth around the edges. And also, if you want to get rid of the edges and you want to close in on your mask, we can use this option over here called Choke. And let me select 15%. I have some motion blur that we can add, but let me show you guys what my actual example is. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know a lot of people are going to ask me about this when I posted this video to my second channel. If you guys are not subscribed to my second channel, go over there, click that subscribe button. That would be great. And that's it. I'll see you guys later. Cheers.